Hello everybody! Welcome back to Scugog Public Library. My name is Kyle and I am here today to show you how to make another very cool steam craft using the materials that I have supplied for you in this steam take and make activity kit that you can get from Scugog Public Library. Today we're going to make this little wooden person that is actually a functioning catapult. What I like about this project is that it combines our understanding of science with our skills in engineering and our artistic skills to make a simple machine with big impact. Well, let's get to it. Let's open up our Take and Make activity kits, let's look inside at the materials I've supplied for you, and let's set up our workstations. Okay. So in your kits today, you should find several wooden popsicle sticks, as well as one wooden spoon. You should also find some rubber bands and some fuzzy pom-poms here. And then you'll also see this orange piece of rolled up paper, which you can set aside for now, because we will come back to that later. You are also going to need some art supplies to get creative with, so today I have added to my workstation some colored pencils and some brightly colored markers but you could also use any kind of pencils, crayons, paint, or anything that you want to add a little color to your project. Now it takes almost no time to make this catapult. It is a very fast and easy craft to make. And to get started, I'm going to take one of my popsicle sticks and I'm just going to set that aside over there. And I'm going to put my wooden spoon with that and we'll come back to those in a few minutes. Until then, I'm just going to take the remaining popsicle sticks that I have and I'm going to stack them just like this. And then I'm going to take one of my rubber bands and I'm going to put it around the end of my popsicle stick. Then I'm going to give it a twist and then wrap it around again. And I'm just going to keep twisting and wrapping it around until the rubber band has formed a nice tight grip on the popsicle sticks and has bound them together just like that. Now I'm going to take the other uh, rubber band and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to wrap it around and twist and wrap it around and twist until that rubber band is as tight as the first one. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to take that popsicle stick that I had set aside and I am going to very carefully wedge it into the bottom, in between the bottom popsicle stick and the other popsicle sticks and it should slide right through. So when I give it a push, you should see that it goes through like that, but that it's sandwiched between the other popsicle sticks that I've tied together. Next, I'm going to take the wooden spoon that I had set aside and I'm going to place it on top of the stack of popsicle sticks that I made, but I'm also going to make sure that the end of the spoon lines up with that other popsicle stick that I had pushed through, just like that. And then I'm going to take another one of my rubber bands, and just as I did with the rubber bands before, I'm going to loop it around and then twist, and then loop it around and twist, and I'm going to do that over and over again so that I can get this as tightly bound together as possible, just like that. See? And finally, I'm going to take the last rubber band from my kit, and I am just going to wrap it loosely around the spoon part of my wooden spoon. Now this rubber band doesn't need to be as tightly bound as the other rubber bands, it just needs to wrap around the middle of the spoon, something like that, so that when we put the pom-pom into the spoon, we have ourselves a working catapult. Isn't that awesome? Look how easy it was to engineer this cool, simple machine. But you know what would make this even cooler? Is if we put our artistic skills to the test and turn this into a catapult person. So you'll see that what I've done is I've taken my colored pencils and my colored markers and I've just added a nice design element to my catapult. You can see that I've taken the edges of my popsicle sticks and I've colored the edges so that I get this really cool striped effect on this part of my catapult. 
And then if I turn it over, you'll see that I've colored in some hair and I've given my person a t-shirt with a little leaf on it. And then I've taken my fine tipped marker here and I've given my person some eyes and a nose and a little bit of a smile as well. So this is my new catapult person that I'm calling Jody. I think Jody is pretty cool. I like that they have a leaf on their shirt because that tells me that they're probably into the environment and so am I. And I also like that Jody is sporting this very cool headband made out of a rubber band. The last thing that I've included in your kit is this rolled up piece of orange paper. Now, if you take the elastic off of that and unroll it, you are going to find that I have included a little target for you to use as target practice. I think we could turn this into a fun little game, don't you? Why don't you take a few minutes right now to learn how your catapult person works? What you'll find is that there are some movable parts to your catapult person, which will help you adjust the trajectory and help you to aim your pom-poms so that they land on the target. Using just the three pom-poms that I've included in your kit, I wonder what the highest score is that you can get. Well, I hope you had a good time with me today making another fun steam craft from the library. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, bye!